Good morning, what is happening? It is 5 a.m. right now, and I am on my way to do some bass fishing. I got the boat on the trailer behind me, and we're gonna make about a two hour drive and go see if we can catch some largemouth. It should be a good morning. You know, I like to set goals, but I don't like to set expectations, really, and it's hard for those to be separate sometimes. But, you know, I would like to catch some big fish and some good fish, but, you know, I don't wanna hype it up and get my dream shattered if it's not that great of a day but i think it should be good you know loaded up on bass tackle last night rigged all my rods up got swim bait rod flipping and frog rod a uh rod with fluorocarbon for throwing spinner baits and crank baits and that kind of stuff and i'll talk more about that later because i know i had a lot of people asking about what happened to my g loomis rod it's on here right now and then i have a spinning rod for throwing shaky heads and real finesse gear but it should be good. We just got to knock out this drive and get moving. I'm very, very excited. I've been dying to do some bass fishing lately. It should be a excellent, excellent morning. We have made it on the water. I was putting that boat in and it was it was pretty challenging doing it by myself, but we got it done and there was about 30 other people at the ramp all throwing boats and it was very, very quick moving. I really didn't expect that expect there to be so many people here this morning, but whatever. We're gonna get out, you know. I am the guy at the ramp said the bite's very good right now, but it's very, very windy, as you can probably already tell the second I got into the main lake. I don't know what I'm gonna try, you know. I really I have done zero preparation to fish this lake, so we're just gonna kinda roll with it and see how it goes. My boat got absolutely blasted by mud on our way here, and the outside of it was 10 times worse. But once I dumped it in the water, it was okay, but just absolutely covered in sand and mud. But it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Turn this around. All right, I don't really know anything about this lake. You know, I really kind of going in blind, which is kind of dumb, but at the same time, it's very fun. And it's really just a challenging thing to try to learn a lake. And lakes can be very difficult sometimes, but we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm just going with my instinct right now, honestly. There's a lot of wind, so I'll probably start off with a spinner bait maybe, or I might put a buzz bait on. I don't know if I can get a topwater bite right now. We are dealing with 65 degree temperatures. I won't, I won't throw a topwater, probably. But um, a new lake, it can be challenging, but I'm gonna go with my instinct, and that's structure, man. There's a nice shoreline that's running along here, and there's little, grass heads that stick off of it and we're just gonna work that shoreline and just start chucking man get on the troll motor and start throwing and we're gonna adjust from there if we need to if that works and we'll keep throwing it but i'm very excited it should be good i think this will be good this looks good man this looks real good i'm gonna pull a spinner right there oh first cast i just got swung it right in that thick that thicket right there and i swung like an idiot because that got me really excited but oh boys it might be in it. There it is. Nope. Oh, I just got hit right there, right when it came out. He short struck it though. Oh, God. Feels like a good fish. My drag is like seizing up. What is this about? It is digging its head so hard. It's a decent one. Boat flip him. Oh yes. How about that for first fish of the morning? That is a chunk on the spinner bait right there. That only has to be my 10th cast maybe of the morning. Beautiful, beautiful fish. He is maybe two and a half. That is awesome. I did bring a scale with me this morning, but we're not going to weigh this guy. We're going to keep going. But that gets me so pumped to start the morning off that quick already. You guys don't even understand. Get out of here. Oh my God, when it landed, it got cranked right when it landed. Second fish of the morning, about 500 boats coming by. 
behind me. All right, second bass of the morning, just a little guy. All right, caught two bass in about the first 15 minutes probably, but slowed down a little bit and it's the weirdest thing. Probably over 30 boats have passed me going to the opposite side of the lake and I don't know what's going on over there. So I'm just gonna go check it out since the bites slowed down over here. I may end up coming back, but I just at least, you know, I wanna see what's going on over there. Looks like I finally got one coming back towards me, but we're gonna go take a peek and make a move. <laughs> Crap. I had the first fish in a long time. I wasn't even sure if it was a fish or not. I just felt this tiny, tiny bump, and so I just kind of tightened down. He was there. Right there. break our rut for us all right we made a bit of a move here we're fishing a wall it's kind of a big rock wall here and we're gonna be throwing a lipless we're doing this on the other side as well but it was a little too windy on there and I couldn't really fish I did get one pretty decent bite but it was just way too windy I couldn't really control my boat over there and I kept getting blown Ooh, on good fish good fish first cast not it's not huge but it's a good one Heck yes. I'm gonna put spot lock on and there might be some more fish chilling here. Grab the net in the most inconvenient place in the world. All right, looks like we made the right choice moving. All right, little largemouth right there. He's super, super chunky and fat. Not very long, but a good fish. It is a very, very welcome guy right here. I hit the spot lock so we can see if we can catch some more if they're a school of them, but he's beautiful fish, man. All right, so I hit the spot lock because I got picked up and I didn't want to drift. That was just a straight retrieve. That was my first cast on this rock bluff wall. I wouldn't call this uh, dirt mound much of a bluff. On. Doesn't feel very big. Oh, there he goes. Still on. Give me a little leap. He's digging like a... Gosh, he ate that head first. A little guy right there, just a little under a pound probably. All right, so I made a pretty far drift down this bank, and I caught three fish. One, the first one I caught was decent, and then the rest were very tiny, but I'm making my way back down to see if I can make another drift, but maybe this time to a shaky head, or I might pick up the, pick up the rattle trap again. Sorry, I right now, what I was gonna say what I'm doing is I'm looking at my sonar, my down view, and I'm just cruising really slowly down the bank and I'm putting marks whenever I see structure sticking out. And so I know, you know, I should maybe get bit here. Like I just hit something right there, even though I'm in five feet of water, that is not good. But I just found some meaty, meaty structure, definitely right there, something sticking out of the water. A lot right here. So I have marks made where I've been marking all this stuff. So I know there's structure here and I should get hit. So I'm pretty much just making my marks where I want to fish. But yeah, so we're going to make another drift, but we're pretty much going to hard target these marks that we've made and hopefully catch some more bass. That's a fish, it's a giant. It's moving. No, it's not. I'm moving. So, I don't know what happened. I was stuck on a stump or something, and I was sitting there shaking my lure trying to get it off, and all of a sudden, I have a freaking catfish on a lipless. What? 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gosh, I thought it was a big bass. Well, that's pretty funny right there. That's a, just about a two pound channel catfish that had a lipless crankbait. He, he ate it too. The, the hook was in his top jaw. That's awesome, man. I've never caught a channel on an artificial before. That's pretty funny. And he's, I mean, he's not huge, but it's a healthy little channel catfish. At least I think it's a channel. You can correct me if I'm wrong here on this guy. All right, well, there we go. There's our, uh, our catfish right there on the lipless crankbait. Doesn't feel very big. Little micro, good gosh. All right, little shrimp right there. We'll uh, throw right back where you caught them and see if there's a school or something hanging out. All right, I am done for now. Or for today, I should say. It's two o'clock right now. I've been out here since seven. It's been all right. It's just learning a new lake. It can be tough, but we're going to make our run back to the ramp and pull the boat out and get driving home, man. All right, I am done. I am uh, on the move. My, my hair is all over the place, but I really don't care about that. It was a good day. You know, caught a few fish, not anything stellar. Two fish that were both probably two and a half pounds. The first one was a little bigger. It was a nice fish in the morning. It was definitely a lot of... It was definitely a lot of figuring out how this body of water works, to be honest. And it was cool, but I don't know if I'll come back. Maybe I will. I've heard the fishing here is very good, but it's a small lake, and there was easily over 70 boats on the water today. Like, it was bad. This boat after boat. And it's a Wednesday morning, you know. There shouldn't be a ton of people here. And so sometimes it makes it less enjoyable. And it was also very windy, but mainly mainly the people make it less enjoyable. So many boats out there. Not to say every single person I talked to was extremely nice. I had a guy offer to help me put my boat in this morning in the ramp because I was by myself, but I, can, I told him I was fine and did it by myself anyways. But, you know, everyone's super, super nice around here. Mostly all older people, but it was very cool. Very cool getting out in a new lake. It is 2.40 right now. I got here at like 7 a.m., 6.50. I've been here pretty much all day. And to be honest, I would have stayed and kept fishing if my GoPro didn't die. I ran out of all five batteries, so <laughs> that's that. But today was fun. Got to drive home. We're going to get at it. All right, guys, I have made it back to my hometown. I am beat, man. Very, very beat. Um, probably gonna go home and eat some dinner or lunch, whatever you want to call it. It's four o'clock right now. I have not eaten anything today other than I had a slice of turkey lunch meat this morning at 4 a.m. That's all I've eaten today. When I when I fish, I get in a zone or a trance or grind, whatever you want to call it, where I don't think about food or anything. Like I'm really not even hungry right now, and I have not eaten at all today, and. You know, I had a water and I had a Pepsi while I was out in the boat, and that's it. And I feel good, though, but I'm, I'm, I'm beat. Like, I'm tired, I'm worn out, but, you know, I feel fine, even though I haven't eaten at all today. But definitely going to go home and grab some grub. It's been a fun day. That's all I can say. I will see you guys tomorrow.